Hey guys, it's here Gamer 4 here, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a Farming Simulator 2013 server. So first you need to f go to your internet browser and type in your default gateway. You can find this by going to command prompt and typing in IP config. And just scroll up to your wireless LAN adapter, and you should see it right there. So you type that in, and you have to sign in through your provider. Now you have to... you would there should be a an option to port forward which is right here for me anyways so you're gonna have to follow these settings the port that you want to forward is 108.23 the protocol has to be TCP slash UDP and the IP address that you should put in is 192.168.0.11 and that's for me anyways so you have to go in order to find out the IP address you need to put in you need to go to your command prompt in IP config and go to IPv4 address and you should just see the address that you have to type in and boom and click apply and enable it. Now you need to start up farming simulator and right there we'll just wait till it start up So once you have Farming Simulator 2013 started up, you want to click multiplayer, create game, and I already have a world loaded up, so we're just going to create a new game for this server. And do click normal, click the map, and the game name is how your friends are going to easily find your server. So you have to make it something simple or something um not common. So we're just going to replace the Johnson family with something easy like 123 right here. So your internet connection is based on you, whatever your uh, internet connection can handle. I'm going to go with 6,000. It's a decent amount. And just choose the max players. Pa make the password something simple so that your can friends can join easier. I'm just going to make mine LOL. And the port is going to be 10823, just like what we port forwarded. Now there's also mods, so if you have mods that you want to use in the server, just click on Add Mods. But I'm not going to add, I'm not going to use that, so we're just going to click Start. So once you're connecting to the server, there's three different servers you can connect to. International, Deutschland, and Continental Europe. Now when your friend joins the game, they're going to see these three um, regions. I'm going to go with International since, I go, since I'm in North America. Just choose whatever you're closest to. So after it's done loading, just click Start right here. And you should be in your server. Now, just tell your friend to, because when your friend um, is going to find the game, when he ch kicks join games, there's going to be International, Deutschland, and Continent Continental Europe. Now, wh whichever you set it as, that's where he has to find the game. So he has to scroll down, maybe refresh the page until he finds it. And I have my friend, which is my friend, Bob McJoe, is going to join. And we'll just wait. See right here. So your uh, friend is gonna be right here, Bob McJoe. So what you need to do is accept it, or if it's just a random person that just denies. So I'm gonna accept my friend. So eventually it's gonna synchronize Bob McJoe or your friend to the server. So it's gonna freeze it first and it's gonna start synchronizing. So you should see right here that it's synchronizing data with your friend, or as in my case. Bob Joe. So just let it finish synchronizing. It doesn't take that long. So once your friend is on, you're going to see on your map when you, or your GPS when you press I. So it's going to start off like this with no GPS. Now just press I. And you'll see that he's the red right there. So Bob McJoe. So if since it's multiplayer, if you want to give money to your friend, like since he starts off with no money, you're gonna have to press L. But in order, right now it's not on separate accounts. So all money that's earned th through your friend is gonna go to you right away. So if you don't want to do that, press U on your keyboard. And it's gonna bring up your server settings. Now you can 
just um, fill around with the settings as you like. So you can put auto accept, auto save, permission of other players. See right here, separate accounts so that they can get the money that they earn, and the so that they can hire assistants right here, and so that they can sell vehicles. Also click this so that they can create new fields as well. And just click save when you um, if the settings are to your liking. So once that over, you should set up your Farming Simulator 2013 server and you and your friend should start working on your farming industry right now. And this has been a tutorial. So comment, like, and subscribe if you guys like this video and found it, found it useful. And see you later.